Okay, so we're back with Life is Strange episode in the two. Episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! They call film Whoa. little pieces what of time. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. So there you go, that's what happened in the last episode. Didn't really show any of the choices that I made. Hmm, interesting. So I read online that this episode is going to be a fucking long one. News. Life is Strange, Episode 2, Out of Time. I wonder when they're going to ruin this and make it into a live action thing. Why don't they have the blanket over them? Love the soundtrack. Absolutely love it. keep me clean. I still need a shower. Whoa. Hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Fuck, it's going way too fast. There, hippie. What about the fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smartass. Too bad you can't go back and warn me about that joint. I thought saving your life was more important. Boom! Mac delivers a pen of blue. But for reals, we need to talk. We need you standing with me on this. Or eat an ass buster breakfast at two whales, my tree. So it's good. Ah, okay. Mom. Hey, honey. I hope you didn't forget to water the plants we gave you, but don't drown it either, mommy. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. I don't want to read all this shit. I'm not reading it. I'm sorry. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Drink up. I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. Damn. 
Take an old Nelson, selfie. Take your power seriously. Okay. Sticky notes. What do I need to look at? I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific. Oh, look, she's researching the storm. Cell phone, use. Oh, fuck that. All right, let's go get HR. I you better not leave bastard. without my shower supplies. My shower supplies. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Shower supplies. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Uh oh, I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. Ow! Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Why is someone always trying to throw something at her? Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Why is no one wearing clothes? What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Third Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound no, like fun. Not if I rave, now thanks. I have to go contemplate my party future. Hmm. 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 Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Rollerblades, chiller directed. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Juliet, that's Hello, the Juliet. weirdo. Hey Max, did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Jesus, does everyone know that this lad wants to raid him or not? Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Stella. 
Clearly not a morning person. No, I don't want to go there. Oh, uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. Jesus Christ, that's It's harsh. not true. I wanted to help, but... But... Whatever. It's done. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. After my shower, I'll bring her book back, and that'll be a good excuse for us to chat. I don't want to Maybe just this. talking with a friend will help her feel better. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. This one just yeah, eavesdropped on everything. I paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. Faithful minions. We ran all the way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Got back in the same door he closed. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello, water. Sorry, I forgot. Who's in there? Oh, oops. I forgot about the water pressure. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Nobody messes with me, bitch. Who wrote that? Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. 
Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. No. No book here. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. How about telling me where it is? And nothing here. Jesus Christ. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to our list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. It's fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. That's a lot of tears. She's going to... Kate really has a doting father. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Do you know who picked her? Good lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything when David harassed me yesterday? I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So, What's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. I won't either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's like it's pulling teeth. It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. 
Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Oh, shit. And? And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. It's very specific. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people If you go to the cops and they spot. turn you away, your man Nathan will know what you've done and he'll be fucking pissed, so I saved your ass there. Jesus Christ. Winge back. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. No, I don't care. Chloe, Max, food, two whales, see you there, don't hurt your fingers texting, yay breakfast, no emoji, what's wrong with emojis now, I had a text, why don't I mention text, oh no, Talk to Edward Stanley. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. What do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. He's simple, but I like him. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. That was a weird thing to say. Hurry up. Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. 
I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Hi, Taylor. Hi. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Nice. Well, that conversation didn't suck. Give peace a chance. Fuck off. Lauren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the okay, question, so, why is Nathan so, Prescott getting psycho on you? Okay. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Why does everyone keep saying Speaking bizarro? Of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Shit, no, my after are green to go to like 20 different things. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. Disturbing inside. 
Here's the old lighthouse. Talk about going back in time. The diner looked... I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. Hi. You look... lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but... I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, Jesus. good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Yeah. How the fuck do I get in there? Smell of breakfast. Just in the sound of clanging silverware Ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me at the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Legend. Should you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> you crack me <laughs> up, Maxer. Oh. Or some baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, school girl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Oh game. Oh game. Chloe ma'am. Ma'am Chloe. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at two whales after all these years. No, like, you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. Mother's a bit of a bitch. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. <laughs> you did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe... Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. 
I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Didn't you rebel against your best friend by letting her twist in the wind with that joint? Joyce, he slapped Chloe yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? Yesterday, I took a picture of him fighting with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Don't make her. Bacon omelet. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet for the young lady staff. Bacon at 12 o'clock time. Nerf. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. I die. This is a diner, not a bar. Hmm. Beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Incoming. Hurry up. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Uh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <sighs> you guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have a tube of glitter in there, right? Nada. Eh, wrong answer. 
Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. You need to look at the items and... Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, come on. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! <laughs> I'm guessing Even at a all. broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 82 cents. I wish. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in- I can't count fucking American okay, shite. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Look, uh, what is that? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six... What is... Oh, I can't count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11, quarter dollar. What the fuck is a quarter dollar? The 25, 75, 86. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. This is me telling you. Okay, Max. I'm hella. Money. Clearly, I'm rich as fuck. 86? 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. I'm pretty sure you have six. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. Seven. A superpower. Amazing. Your car key. Duh, way too easy. A Not bad. You do have that I A parking ticket. You know. 10.34 a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. Balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. Good, it took me a ten goals. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. 
Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Okay, can I rewind? That's the best song I've heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Andy. I think I... I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he answers it. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as the what the fuck? tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a I think Don't not, slap Max. me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. I'm going to put the trucker drops. So what happened? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he quickly exits the diner. Okay. Well, let's just Justin. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Okay. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on. This is awkward. Pretty as bizarre. Fuck. <sighs> Oops. Dude, Did you, you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. I'm getting it perfect. I don't care. I'm going. Okay, come on. Uh, trucker drops his mug. So. And he eats a donut as part of these, and he answers. The cop gets. Well, let's. I am probably 100% wrong. Joyce stops them. This is getting good. Cockroach girls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. Please. Oh, come on. Oops. Dude, Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Watch this cunt now. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a I dick. think not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. 
I'm finishing. He doesn't do it with anything. I'm what the fuck? Like, I don't know what. Uh, trucker drops his mouth. So, what happens next? And he eats a donut. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, but he does nothing except eat a donut. Well, let's just see. Justin and Trevor. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And cockroach. The pretty bizarre. Oh, I'm so sick of the scene. All right, this is the last goal. If I don't get it right, I don't care. I don't really see what the cop is doing. Is anything? Oops. Dude, Did you right. break another cop? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a I dick. think don't not, slap Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. He didn't do anything. Fucking hey. This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. I'm fit. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? I'm going to protect. Trucker drops the his mug. Dropped. You have to get it right. So, what happens next? And he leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his. Well, he doesn't go quickly. Well, let's just. Just. This is getting. The... Pretty... The cop doesn't do anything. He just fucking sits there. Oops. Dude, Did you right. break another cop? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I dick. think Don't not, slap Max. me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. I'm going to predict the trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? And his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the ah, car leaves sake. without him. Well, look. Just, this is getting good. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, what really? Go, Mom? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. 
This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Oh, fuck. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I just need to see my truck out there in the lot. It's been a long night in the road, and I have to make sure my baby is sleeping right. Hello, sir. Yes? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and school to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Answer, fuck off, Kate. Chloe, whatever hey, Kate. it is. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. The way is anyone friends with, with this you, one? Okay? For now, let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. 
You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles. Pretty please. Buckle. I need the buckle. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. How do I get up? Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. <sighs> Stupid bottle. One bottle. Hello, bottle number one. One more to go. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Who knows? Oh shit. There's a bottle. Boom. Only three bottles left. Exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. <laughs> Look, that dough is the perfect photo op. I don't think she actually seen that. No, she didn't. I knew it. Fucking hell, I keep doing that. Sit on the stump. So quiet and primordial out here. This was an old school punk shirt. Thank you for that. Okay, I'm just go back. Oh, hello. generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Oh, possibly in here. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. That kind of hurts. I'm sure I'll live. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Three down, two more to go. I want to die. <sighs> Gee. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This fly, I don't want to intrude, but I was here. 
Fuck. Nope, I don't want to go there. Where do I go? Okay, go back in here. Plank. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Take the fucking thing then. How do I get up there? Like, syringe is nice. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. One more bottle to go. Where the fuck is the next bottle? Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. Oh, stop doing that. Last bottle. Where be the last bottle, Chloe? I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or the gods. So bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? No way. I still don't even know how my power works or for how long. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic, boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Need that ball. Hmm. Where, where, where is Bottle? Where could Bottle be? I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Thanks for that subtle hint. Bonfire, is that not? That not be up here. If I was having a bonfire, I would have it up there. Is the bottle. Every car has its own tale in history. I don't want to go that way. Then find the ball. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Tires. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Buckle. Five little buckles. Why'd you have to get five well, exactly? Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe.
Why aren't you running? That is running. Oh, Jesus. Uh, don't rewind it, because then we end up going back further. Why are you rewinding so much? Ah, ah, stop. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Lame. I should rewind and help Chloe hit those bottles. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel, your time has come. Listen to those fat bullet beats! What? Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. Oh Jesus, shit. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! You 
freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I'd rather go chat up Chloe. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I... Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. She shouldn't have fucking had it. Chloe's waiting to go for Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's break? Don't know. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me, especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too, I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. 
Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. Hella. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Kind of a fucking idiot, is she? The train. Oh shit. I don't want to die here. Shit, I can't budget at all. Come on, Max. Hurry. I can definitely use this bad boy. the fuck do I free you? Chloe 
I just pulled her up. Should I just lift it up? Splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Still don't know about her. She seems like a lot of fucking trouble. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswife. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, mm -hmm. the superhero needs a This is long. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Sir? So are you going to oh, report? hello, Max. I hope this isn't about Mr. the alleged Mr. gun incident. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. What a fucking prick. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama. Even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. Well, she's hot, rich, talented. What more does she need? Mm. See you at the game Friday, Max.
These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. That snow was so insane. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. Really? Oh, like... I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Trevor surveys his domain. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. She got in my face and called me a pig. And I was still wrong. I'll make it up to Chloe. And I'm sorry. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Soldier, you don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up now. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. I'm tired. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. This works? You get a free hug. Weird science. Think, big brain, think. Hey, Warren. Maxwell's asking me. Half daddy. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. <laughs> she blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Yes, this can't be that hard. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. You can't help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. 
Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. I'm gonna follow you, kid. What do you want from me? Where the fuck are you going? Look at that prick. Don't leave. Bitch. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh, yes. I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. What a prick. Uh huh. Sure, okay. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Bo. 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 Nina, you are out of control. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. I can't believe the principal lets him stay in school after I told him what- Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes.
Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll we see have you a later. lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself. Sh Shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Usually. People need something to judge, so they never take a... It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Good look at themselves. We can thank reality... I guess Kate will miss class now. In the end... I'm worried about her. ...for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! Everybody remain seated. Dismissed. See that? Is this for real? It slipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Who is that? Kate! She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Yes. <clears throat> power now i have to do this by myself did you come to get another pulitzer shot like yesterday max i only
only wanted proof that David was harassing you. More like you wanted another shot for the Max Caulfield scrap-up. You want another now? Huh? No! Please, Kate. You know me better than that. And I know you don't want to jump. But I do. My life is already over. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Mac. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. I'm nailing this. See? You're not alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11:28. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Oh, I guess that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite the hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those root doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, 
and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Nathan dosed her. We're fucking doing all that, cunt. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but... I think I can use my power again. No. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. <sighs> It's pretty fresh. And Mr. Madsen. Yeah, I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? My elbows. What the hell is this? More snow. The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week.
And there we have it. Wow, that was a long one. Thank you to anyone who stayed watching that. Fucking hell. So episode two, Out of Time, is in the books. The story is getting really deep and compelling and interesting and whatnot. My gameplay mightn't be, but uh, fuck, I'm tired after that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.